is our first day of adventures with Southern Explorations and it is not a travel day. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are going hiking and kayaking in the Tierra del Fuego National Park. It's supposed to have like some of Patagonia's most iconic views. Just a little update recap. We are in Ushuaia, the southernmost city in the world. We could basically swim to Antarctica. <laughs> a driver's here to pick us up. We have picked up everyone from their hotel and we are driving through the mountains to the national park and it's already gotten so beautiful. And we've learned so much from our tour guide, Anna. She told us about the name of the national park, which is Tierra del Fuego. And it comes from way back in the 1500s. There were Indian, like native people living here. And when the explorers were like driving their boat around the island, they were like making smoke. So they originally named it the land of smoke. But then that wasn't scary enough because they wanted to make sure they scared like the other countries away from going. So they named it Tierra del Fuego, which means the land of fire. And Patagonia is named after a monster. They, they basically Patagonia. just named it trying to keep other people. Monsters and fire. Away from this region so they could have it all to themselves. And now we've stopped at a train station. Ushuaia used to be a penal colony where they sent like the worst criminals in all of Argentina and they make them ride this train behind us every day to go cut wood to warm the prison, otherwise they would freeze to death. It's actually electric now and very touristic, but they still put steam on it. We're not actually going on this tour, we're just making a quick stop because our guide told us it was really touristy. Um, she's just letting us take a few pictures. All right, we gotta get back on the bus. Yes, yes. So we're gonna canoe, we're gonna begin in this lake and we're gonna go down a river that is going that way. If we go like this, we will not go far. All right? If we go like this, we will arrive to La Bataya Bay. All right? <laughs> Even to Cape Horn or Antarctica. and then took our boat over the road right here. Now we're getting back in, in the river. We've just entered the Beagle Channel, AKA there's a lot of waves now.
We just finished kayaking, worked up a big appetite for lunch. It was absolutely beautiful. We even saw some condors and a sea lion in the river. It was awesome. All right, guys, now we're gonna stop at a place that we have for lunch. So if you wanna leave things here in the bus, it's fine. Lunch was so good. I thought we were gonna have like ham sandwiches and we had a delicious lunch. This first part of the hike is gonna be going uphill little by little. And then once we get uphill, we're gonna go down the hill all the way to the Beagle Channel. I know, I do love that smell too. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Mm. Thing? This is officially my favorite hike ever. She brought coffee with a view. kelp leaves and we just learned that these are basically the roots of the kelp leaves and a bunch of little things live in here and then other things come to find the things that live in here and then bigger things come to eat the things that are looking for <laughs> that live in here so these are really important for the Beagle Channel pretty fascinating Getting closer. <laughs> getting closer and closer. Actually, I'm um, showing here Moscow so you have an idea of how south we are in latitude yeah. uh, compared to the North Hemisphere. Uh, so we are about the same latitude south as Moscow is north. Yes. We are about a thousand kilometers away from the Antarctic Peninsula. Mm. The Yamanas, Yamanas lived here in the south uh, along the Beagle Channel. They used to uh, ride along in canoes uh, <coughs> along the Beagle to hunt the sea lion, to fish, to go catch food. Down at the Beagle Channel again, and we are about to eat some nature. This is a Califate, which is also the name of a city. Apparently, the city was named after the fruit. It was a blueberry. It was delicious. Very earthy tasting blueberry.
are about to get back in the van. It has been the best day. The weather has been perfect. Our guide Anna said it was a very special day. It's not usually this perfect all day long. I can stay out here forever. All right, everybody. Officially, the coolest post office in the world it is the southernmost post office right at the end of the earth. Unless there's one in Antarctica. I don't know if you can mail stuff to Antarctica. <laughs> 